this phase here, so say I'm finally going to be doing the Month of Favorites video for September. I wrote some more stuff down so that I'll be able to remember everything, I guess. So here we go. Movies. One movie was actually a movie that I just watched not too long ago. It was called Oculus. I didn't really pay much attention to it, but I did see a lot of good parts. They, it was pretty scary. So hopefully I can watch it again soon. Another one is Ouija. I don't know if I said that right. But it's a movie about these friends that play w around with a Ouija board. I guess to contact a dead friend or something. And ends up getting out of hand. My dad actually has it on DVD so he let me watch it. So that's awesome. Another one is called Cyberbully which I actually watched on YouTube. It stars Emily Osment. It's about this girl, which is played by Emily Osment, she gets starts getting bullied online and stuff. It's pretty sad, but in the end she finally gets the help she needs and she stands up for herself along with her friends and stuff, so at least I had a decent ending. Another one is Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeakwool. I don't know if I said that right. But it's basically the second one, I believe, which I think we have on DVD. But I watched it on Nickelodeon recently, so. Yeah. Another one is Ice Age, which I have not ever seen the first Ice Age. So I ended up watching that on Nickelodeon too when it came on, so it's pretty exciting. Another one is called She's Too Young, which I actually watched that on YouTube. It was a Lifetime movie. It was about these teenagers that are really sexually active, and I guess most of them end up getting some sort of STD or something. I don't know. It's a pretty freaky movie. But it's pretty good, I think. Another one is called We Are Still Here. I watched that again on Sci-Fi. I really liked it. I just love that movie so much. It's just about this family that moves in this house and the strange paranormal type stuff starts happening. I don't know. It's really good. It's definitely frightening as hell. Another one is called Silent Hill Revelation. It's another one I watched. I love that one so much. I just keep watching it every time it comes on. I think it's better than the first one, but I like both of them. So. And let's see, let's go on to music. One is Brian Adams. I've been listening to him a lot lately. I've been listening to his Waking Up the Neighbors album, I believe. My dad actually put that one on my MP3, so I've been listening to that one a lot. As well as his other album, Reckless. So. I just love his songs. They're so beautiful and inspirational. Another one is the Alan Parsons Project. I've been really listening to them again. I used to listen to him like, I think when I was a teenager a lot, but then I didn't listen to him for like the longest time because I was getting more into other music and stuff. But I've recently been listening to them more and more again. I've been listening to their on air album a lot. Another one is Adam Lambert. I've been listening to his songs on YouTube a lot. I've been listening to What Do You Want From Me, If I Had You. And for your entertainment, I believe. Which, those are really awesome songs, I think. Another one is Snow Patrol. I've been listening to their song, Chasing Cars, mostly. But I also listened to another song of theirs. It was called Run, I believe. They're pretty good, I think. Another one is Skid Row. I've been listening to their self-titled album more than anything. Which I have on my player, so. Another one is The Word Alive. I've been listening to their Dark Matter album a lot, as well as like their older albums. They're freaking awesome. They're the best metalcore um, uh, metalcore band ever. Another one is Simple Plan. I've been listening to their older albums mostly. 
freaking awesome. Another one is Pop Evil. I've been listening to their album Onyx, which I have it on my MP3. It's a really awesome album. Another one is Seether. I've been listening to their Holding On Strings by Left Fray album, as well as their other album called Finding Beauty in Negative Spaces, I believe. As well as their Isolate and Medicaid album, I think it's called. Something like that, I don't know. Another one is Young Guns. I've actually been listening to three of their songs on YouTube. One's called Bones, another one's called Way of the World, and another one's called A Lesson Learned, I believe. But yeah, I've been trying them out a lot, they're freaking, they're amazing. Another one is New Year's Day. I actually tried out some of their songs. They're basically a alternative metal type band with a female lead singer. And she's a really good singer, I think. Let's see, videos. I've been watching Sarah Christine Fowler a lot more. I've been trying her videos out. They're really interesting. Another one is Princess Tori. She's been making more and more videos as of late. I actually watched her Halloween haul recently. I just love like all types of hauls, whether it's Halloween hauls or just regular hauls. I just love them. Another one is Anastasia May. I've been watching her outfit videos a lot, as well as her new videos that she's been uploading and everything. Another one is Kevin Destes. I've been watching his old Q&As mostly, it's just because they're hilarious. And I've just been watching like random music videos mostly, just been watching like a bunch of random stuff, I don't know. As well as like wrestling news related type videos for some reason, I don't know. And finally TV shows, I've been watching Bob's Burgers a lot more lately, as well as American Dad. George Lopez, Dog with a Blog, and Hannah Montana. So I haven't really been watching any new shows, just the usual stuff, I guess. So, yeah, that's about the end of this monthly favorites video. I love you guys. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.